Hey, what's up crew? Iguana Man here. Just want to let you guys know that I'm okay. Unfortunately, we have tornado warnings in the area today in Florida, so there ain't gonna be no hunting. You guys can see it is brewing right now. We got crazy gust of winds just got there. My goodness. So with that being said, guys, we are gonna go inside the studio and I'm gonna show you guys a video from Way Back Wander. Some of you might have seen it, some of you probably haven't. Y'all are new. But anyways, we went out, did some iguana catching. It was an epic day. But right now there is gonna be no hunting today. So with that being said, y'all enjoy. Look at that. Two of them right here. Mm -hmm. Two of them. Sheesh. It's amazing how the colors have come together where they're almost the same now. Hey sir, how are you guys? You want a removal? Right there, right there. Get up there. Get up there. Get up there. You guys get up there. You got him, Kyle. Yep, he did. He did. Right here. Get in. Get in there. So, so we have we have a couple of females right here underneath, uh, right there. Yeah, right. Concrete. You see them underneath it, underneath oh. it. No, see them. They're right in front there. There's two of them, I believe. So when y'all when y'all are shooting, make sure y'all y'all be nice and steady to get go for a kill shot right away. Try to go for a uh, head shot or like a back like a spine shot. That's what puts them out. All right. If you want to count it down. Three. Two. Yep. Oh, oh, that one's getting up a little high. All right. Yep. Yeah. So you see that? You see the one? Okay, that yeah, one. Yeah, good shot, good shot, Kyle. Good shot, yeah, I think Kyle. he's dead. Yeah, that one is. Oh, oh there's another. Oh, holy mother! That's, that's, no, that's too, too high. high. Too high. Yeah, too okay. high. Ooh. Wait, hold on. He might go for that one that's dead. Yeah. Look, he's he going is. for it. Yep. He's going for it. He's a he's a predator. Take him out, boys. There you go. Nice, Will. Good. Yeah. Yeah. But that, that one female that got hit will give him a little bit because she might like like bleed and just. I'm gonna safety and look. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, there's one right. right there. Oh yeah, there's one so right there. Right there, right there. Right above the swing. Right above the swing. Kneel down. Kneel down. Good shot, dude. <laughs> I just turn around and saw him standing there. This one is this one is just a touch hot that close, that's what it is. Get back up here. Nice. Sweet. Sheesh. Very, very cool. Man, they are tougher than nails. But uh yeah, that's good though because uh, you know, you took a couple practice shots. Now you're out here, and you can kind of get, you know, kind of get a feel. Well, you get a better feel for your weapon. So we're back here on the other side. Check that hole out real quick. Look at that thing. Look at that. Underneath this pool right here. Talk about intense structural damage. Look at that. These are are trying to make nests under there. We've got an alpha male and we got three of his females, two of his females. So. 
these are good ones to get. They're they're directly affecting human beings living under the house. That's a huge problem, y'all. You think they're all cute and cuddly, it's all fun and games. Until you have a mess of goannas living underneath your pool. Then the fun is over. <laughs> You've seen where they were living at, right? They had a hole right under that person's pool, like in their backyard. Let's talk about like like some damage, you know what I'm saying? Some structural damage. So they're, they're just digging underneath all the buildings, docks, pools, everything they can get underneath the stick. Bridges, they come out when it's hot. Exactly. Exactly. Now, a lot of people didn't know that about iguanas, that they dig under holes, you know? They dig holes. A lot of people would think that they're just all in the trees. But that's one of the main reasons why iguanas are no good in Florida. It's because they're digging habits. That one's got some heft to it. Yeah, that one's pretty good size. Hey, so check it out. We noticed that in this backyard that it has this weird fruit growing. And I knew about these fruits when I was a kid, but I never got to understand the name or, you know, or actually uh, more information about them. If you know any info about them, drop some comments and let me know. What, what are they, you know? What are they? Are they safe to eat? Where are they from? And uh, what things can you make with them, you know? Drop some comments, let me know. That sounded yeah. like a hit. That was it. That was yeah. A hit. Good job, Rick. Good job. It makes sense. These are tough little buggers, ain't they? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Get him if you can. You gotta move. Get up here. Good day for the iguana hunters. Bad day for the iguana. There he is. That is a stud. Yeah. Wow. No hold him? Yeah, I do actually. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. That's a alpha male right there. Oh, absolutely. That one right, that one right there is a good one. That's that one that skinned his Yeah, head. I think you did. I think I've that was your that, shot. Man. Good shot placements, all right there in the kill zone. Weird. I mean, look at his, look at his forearms. Look how muscular his forearms are. Yeah, especially for that around. other one. It's the same guy. It's wow. just as big. His teeth. That's a meat eater. Right? Wow. Yeah. His jaws right there. Yeah, he's That's insane. Yeah, dude. We're gonna bag him. Uh, we got it. We got some more to collect real quick, so we'll do that and we'll, we'll go okay. back to the camp. Hey, thanks okay. for the water, dude. That just never made it. And it's got twenty-five. Do you think we have enough? Do you think we have enough backdrop to to take a safe shot on that? Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah, no. Because, because look, if we're shooting, the thing is, is if we're shoot, if you're shooting in a slope going down, you know what I'm saying? It's just gonna hit the bank. Now, if we're if we're kind of level with them, it can go skip over them or go above them. So, try to try to I guess just hold underneath them. There you go. That got him. No need to hold underneath him now. 
right above. Good skill. Balancing the tree, and then also uh, like if a, if they're like a predator grabs them, they can like loot, they can drop their tail. The tail will go crazy, and they'll escape. As you see, they're like masters of like digging, climbing, swimming. So it's like yeah, just another trick up their sleeve, you know. Wow. Trying to scratch it off. Yeah, what do you got one in the head? Look at look at look at him. He's just trying he's trying to scratch it off. And you know he's not going anywhere with that one right now. Through the center of the skull plate, just lay right there. Hey, you'll be surprised though. The bigger they get, the crazier, the stronger they can get. Like when I was in Puerto Rico, we were catching like big, thick jungle ones, but they're huge, bro. And we would just be putting it in their head, putting it in their head. Some of them refused to die. It didn't matter how many you put in their head. There, they would, they would just get up and start running, and just they would be down for a little bit, then they'll, they'll, they'll be up and they'll just start regaining their strength. Flores ecosystem, man. Eat one at a time. Attack in a lot of different directions. You got one in there for him? Yeah. She said that she said that it's a big one that jumped out the tree, scared her. And now he's just hanging out over there. Yeah. <laughs> no lie, we were just about to leave and she called me back. She told me that. Would you stop? Shot on them right here. You want to take it? Hey, you go ahead, go ahead. They're good. You do it, man. That's a giant kill. Oh no. Oh wow. That is a smart iguana, dude. Yeah, he, he bailed. Oh shoot. Find the water too. Forget it. We gotta get him out. Take him out. Oh, he said it popped out right there. Ooh! Okay, okay. Uh, damn. It's okay. It's okay. Oh, damn, he looked up and seen his tail flip just a second. I was like, holy <laughs> big of these right top Raj. Raj, get the hell out of there. This <laughs> becomes a high tree. He will knock you unconscious. See if you can drop them right there. We're gonna go down. Tell me when. You got yeah, it, you got it, it, you got it. Oh, nice. Right. Yeah, that's a, that's a uh, Osceola turkey right there. That's a money bird. There you go. <laughs> Holy crap, dude. <laughs> Grab a hold of that one. Big Charizard one. But I won't lie, I was a little scared of Squirtly coming down through this tall grass. Yeah, man. I was waiting on stuff to move and get out of my road before I got one down. <laughs> I hear that. The thing is, too, is like when you're walking down here, dude, you never know what's really actually solid. You tell me? Yeah, I, was I, I could see the sand where it was coming down. That's what I was going to say. I'm glad you held your feet. You know, it happens with, you know, sometimes it don't, but it don't mean that there won't be a next. We just got, you know, those two we lost, and look, look at that. That is, that is badass right there. That is just got rewarded and put a big, put a big boy here. Can we get our pick? Yeah, yeah, y'all yeah, yeah, get it, because he might, he might, uh, darken up. Come on over, Kyle. 
There it is. So you guys seen it right here. We got our friends from Ohio. What was your name again, man? Willie. We got Willie. Rick. Rick. And Kyle. And Rick. Kyle. You guys see it right here. Our friends from Ohio putting a smack down on these invasive green iguanas. It's really, really nice. Check it out. So like we were saying, we ended up able to get this big bad alpha. We had two other ones. They got away though, but then we got these guys. So it goes to show sometimes, you know, things don't go your way, but you have to keep going forward. You cannot sit and, and, and think about the past all the time. We didn't get the iguana. We got the iguana. You can't keep sitting there and thinking about that. You have to move on to the next. And that's just not in iguana hunting, y'all. That's in real life as well. As you see, got the big alpha in the back. I can see the alpha. Yeah. Clear up on the top. I wonder what it's like to look at this way. Yeah, I, I don't know. Yeah. For the big, for the little one? Yeah. yeah, I can see everything now. Go ahead. Bam. Perfect. <laughs> All right, big boy. Big boy's up there. Yeah, I know. I, I can't see him, man. I had a, I, that last time. I, I see him. I see him. I see him. Let me see if I can grab him down. You got him up on right there? Yeah, I see him. You see him? Here. Oh, look out. Look out. Look out. Look out. <laughs> he landed on his tail. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Here, nice. I got one left. And that's how you do it, dude. Wow, you guys are seeing it right here. Hey, this, this is crazy, man. Originally, we came here, we only saw one iguana, right? As soon as we got into the tree, what happened, y'all? There's two. There's two. Two of them, cool. And one was a boy, one was a girl. So you guys already know kind of what they were they were doing in that tree. Oh, yeah. Trying to make it their home and trying to make more iguana. Check it out. There goes the female. There goes the male. It's a little bit later in the breeding season. Um, I'll, you know, I'll expect maybe in the next month, maybe, like all the males will fire down, they'll turn brown, and they'll kind of disappear. That's kind of what happens. Hey, well, we're going to wrap it up for the day, dude. I really appreciate you coming out. Oh, thank man. you. Well, right appreciate it. Thank you. Check it out, y'all. These are all the iguanas we were actually able to recover. Keep in mind, guys, a lot of the iguanas, they live next to waters. They're high up in trees. So, you know, some of them are going to try to escape in the water, even after the fact that we shot them. Will they die? more than likely uh do we try to recover as all of them of course but they do escape and there are other animals they need to eat as well there's fish there's turtles even vultures and raccoons will take savage salvage of these invasive creatures but as you see we were able to get one two three four five six seven eight ten eleven of them eleven of them recovered so I'm an absolute day. blast with you, man. Yes. You're, you're great taste. Big, big alpha iguanas out of the trees breeding. Look at that. Two of them right here. Mm -hmm. Two of them. Sheesh. It's amazing how the colors have come together where they're almost the same now. Right? Mm hmm. Is, check out those clouds right there. It is about to start coming down. So I think we made uh, best use of the day. We've seen a bunch. We got them. We shot a couple bunch. So we're going to add this right here and we are going to be at 326 for the year so it's not bad it's not bad it's only been barely over the first month and we already got over 300 iguanas in the bag hope you guys enjoyed the video like comment hit the rest subscribe button let me know your favorite part in the comments down below as you see right there we got a truck full of iguanas now we're about to put them in the bag like comment Hit that red subscribe button, guy. We'll see you on the next video. The boys think it's a baby. I was trying to tell them, like, hey, this, this could be, you know, sexual mature at this size, you know? Yeah, you never know. They ain't believe me, you know? They're, so we're going to find out. There's only one way, right? Got the flay knife. Your discretion is advised. Zip. Uh, check this out, y'all. Boom. Wow. Whoa. Wow. Look at that. So in the next couple weeks, these eggs are actually gonna turn white. It's gonna have a white casing. Then they're gonna go into like a membrane, like a different type of membrane, like kind of like an intestine or like a sausage, you know? And then when it's the time, then she's gonna drop them or she was gonna drop them in a hole. And then after that, 60 days, uh, 90 days later, 90 days later, then the babies will hatch.
Tom probably has white eggs, maybe. We're looking for white eggs right now. They could have white eggs. That's really what we're looking for. Come those on. are the ones, those are tasty. Oh, they're yellow. Yellow. Yep. Bunch of eggs. Wow. It's amazing. Just full. Think about that. And this one female was going to lay all these eggs and. That's just that many. Yep. Make, uh, <laughs> make, uh, you know, 20, 30 more, you know? Check this out. This is a red female right here. So you see how she's dark like these guys? Mm -hmm. Like when she's fired up, she'll, she'll be red. Let's see the eggs. So we're, we're still looking for the white eggs, dude. Those are those are so good to eat. And I know that sounds weird, but I did a video on it. You go on an egg omelet with the white eggs, bro. Oh my gosh. Let's see. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Just early. Yeah. Starting white. Starting to turn white. So actually, it, it was weird. It's, it's like it's like the white membrane around it is like the shell, you know. It's like soft shell though. It's like kind of. It, it's it's like you know it's thick, but it's like soft. It's like semi soft, semi hard. So they actually lay the eggs. They don't give live birth. Yeah, they right. lay the eggs. Yep. A lot of snakes. Lay them, lay them underground, and uh, ninety days later, the cycle continues.